Okay, hello. My name is Michael Steil. I'm going to talk about the LibCPU binary translator, which is an LLVM-based binary, tra binary translator. Uh, you might be familiar with binary translation, which is uh, translating machine code from one machine language into another machine language. There's lots of examples nowadays. Um, pretty much every emulator has a translator from PowerPC, M86K, um, MIPS to mostly um, x86, because that's what most people use. Okay. okay. Um, so what all these binary translators do is they convert something from a source language into a, a target language. Um, the better ones, what they do is they, they have some intermediate representation and they can uh, perform some optimizations on those, but very few of those um, of the binary translators that exist do that. But if you look at this uh, intermediate representation to target recompilation, um, this is a v very well understood problem and pretty much every well, every compiler does exactly that. So why not just use an existing compiler, for example, LLVM, for the back end of a recompiler? And that's what the project is doing. We use LLVM, which is an existing compiler infrastructure. It has a C front end, um, it has a static recompiler, or it can do JIT, and it um, has a very nice intermediate representation on disk. So LibCPU is a generic anything to anything recompiler. And you can just use it inside your own uh, emulator as a CPU plugin. And this is how you would use it. You create your CPU. You can create many CPUs if you like. Um, you can set some flags. Um, you can set where the, where, you, where the RAM is. And then you just give it an entry point and run it. And then it will exit when there's something that it doesn't understand or th something that you have to handle, like a hardware access or a system, system call. So this is um, what we have. The core has lots of reusable code, all this code that every emulator needs. So we just provide that. And what someone else has to do is just write more front ends. We have two front ends right now, which are working pretty well. And you can just add more front ends. Uh, what is working right now is um, Motorola 88K. It's a not very well uh, known architecture. But uh, we can use pretty much anything from OpenBSD's user mode um, on top of LibCPU. Uh, we have a complete 6502 front end. We can uh, run Commodore 64 Basic. And we've been uh, working on other front ends as well. So we're not that complete, but we have something running. Um, what we will be working or what we are working on right now is that those front ends will not be implemented in C, but be implemented in um, a description language like this. So you uh, specify how the registers would work, how they are aliased, how everything is laid out. Uh, you would uh, describe um, the operations like this. So this is a work in progress right now. So um, yeah, if you're interested, look at our website. It's, it launches right now. Uh, we have a wiki there. Um, you might not be able to download the source code yet, but you can send us an email if you're a com um, um, recompiler developer and have worked with recompilers before, or if you work on emulators. Um, if you want to use um, the library or if you want to contribute in some way, look at our website and um, contact us. Thanks.